my mom to come home. I don't like it. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. It is 11.05. I just finished a work meeting, so I am off until 2.30, and then I have to go back to work for my second shift, but I'm trying to get my nail glue off because one of my kids ripped off one of my nails and then took it today. He has low-spectrum autism, so he took it to be a hat for his panda bear. I got it back, so it's not as gross as it sounds, so I ripped off all the other ones because they were falling off anyways but the worst thing about fake nails is that like, the nail glue sticks to your nails and just like does not come off so i try to like file it off which also is probably really bad for your nails but it just really bugs me when my nail is like so thick because it has the glue on it i mean it's a lose lose for me either way because it's gonna scratch the shit out of my nails but I just can't stand it. Today I am very bummed. My mom is going off on like holiday with her sister and a couple of her sister's friends. So I am left all alone until Saturday like afternoon, which I don't like being away from my mom. You guys all know this. I have codependency issues, but she just left at 1030 and she's only been gone half an hour and I'm already like, I want my mom to come home. I don't like it. That's okay. I'm hoping that I can find something to do for Thursday, Friday, Saturday until she comes home. I was supposed to work on Saturday, but then my boss called me and said that somebody else was taking the shift because they had asked for it first or something. I don't know, but I was just like, <laughs> so now I don't have anything to do on Saturday. So I would probably like film or something if this bad boy is gone by then. It's like a scab because I picked my zit because I have no self-control when it comes to acne. This vlog is probably just going to be a lot of like reading updates because as you guys know, I told you earlier, my mom is on vacation right now. So I honestly have like nothing to do, no one to hang out with. So it's going to be a lot of reading and me feeling sorry for myself. I'm also just having like a really shitty day today because that shit that happened yesterday, I'm not going into it, but <laughs> it's not been a good day. So I've just curled up in my bed and I'm reading and that's probably what I'm going to do when I get home as well but I'm sorry if that's not what you're into but like this is a booktube channel so I mean you guys do like reading vlogs no so maybe it's okay I don't know I'm sorry okay it's now one o'clock I just had lunch I finished Malibu Rising I gave it five out of five stars I really really liked it it was a lot of fun definitely recommend it's definitely worth the hype in my opinion I know that there's been a lot of like mixed reviews of it some people hated it and other people loved it and there isn't really an in-between which I was one of the people who loved it so I recommend it I thought it was fun. I just got off the phone with Apple because when I bought my phone and returned it to get like the better deal that I talked about in Vlogmas Day 1, they were supposed to give me my credit card charge back. They gave me like half of it, but then there's still $70 on my credit card from them. So they gave me like the 900 and whatever it was, 98 or whatever. And then there's still this $70 charge. So I called them. I was like, uh, please take it off because I don't want it on my credit card. I didn't get the phone from you. So like... <laughs> So they said that by the 22nd, it should be off. And if it's not, then I call again and they'll figure it all out for me. So like, thanks Apple, hopefully by then. It's not on my credit card anymore because my credit card is due December 29th. So it better be by December 29th or I'm gonna have some choice words with you little little apple people. Now I'm just waiting to go back to work. I have to go at 2.30. Somebody from Community Living is coming, which is like kind of like a resource teacher, but for the whole city. It's like helping the kids with exceptionalities better adjust to the program, blah, blah. So she's coming today to chill with my kids and the kids who are on her caseload, she like observes them and kind of like gives tips and tricks to the educators on how to better interact with them and have them be successful in the program. So she's coming, so I gotta be there by three o'clock, but I'm leaving at 2.30 because I'm supposed to be at work at 2.30 anyways. But until then, I am going to read on my Kindle Paperwhite. I don't think I ever actually told you guys, my mom and dad got me a Kindle Paperwhite for my birthday back in October and I am absolutely in love with it. Currently reading The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. I'm at chapter eight into it. It is the sequel to The Prison Healer, which I read last month and absolutely loved. I gave it five out of five stars, so I immediately went to my library and was like, I need it. But in Canada, you can't get library books onto your Kindle. So it's actually the NetGalley arc, which I have like 26 more days to read it. So I'm like trying to push through and get that done so that it doesn't expire. Like I had no idea that you couldn't get the books from your library onto a Kindle. I thought that was like the whole point, but apparently it's only a thing in the U 
US. So they're like working on developing it in Canada. But it's like so annoying because like that was the whole reason I wanted a Kindle was so that I could have my library books on my Kindle. But I mean, I'm still going to use it for my neck alley arc, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just frustrating. Like, come on, Kindle, Amazon, get get your shit together because us Canadians would also like to read from our library, okay? But yeah, that's my plan for right now until 2.30. I have like an hour and a half to get as far as I can, but I'm really liking it. So I'm hoping that I continue to really like it, but we'll see. What's back? Holiday countdown. Me being the nicest and Curtis being the naughtiest. Do it! Who that Santi Penelope. I was the gingerbread. This me? I don't know. That's me? Are you nice to your family? Yes. You weren't this morning. What are you talking about? You were mean. I literally gave you a hug. No, I gave mom a hug. <laughs> what was I mean to you? You were ripping me this morning. Yeah, but that's every day. That's me being nice. That's showing my affection and love. Oh. Yeah, I got, learned that from you. Oh. I learned that from you. Oh. Next question. Yes, I am. Being nice is fun to do. It is. Did you eat your dinner tonight? I am currently eating it. Look at that. So the answer is no. I took a you bite. You finished it. Uh, the answer is yes. It's a no right now. <laughs> yes, I did. No. You're a cheater. <laughs> yeah, my bet it was delicious. It was. Do you use your manners? I am so mannerful. <laughs> Not here, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. I say please and thank you. When do I not say please and thank you? I do all the time. Yes, you taught me well. Keep going. Did you do your chores? No. I put the dishes away. Ha! When? At lunchtime. Ha 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 ha. That's, That's why your sink was empty so that you could do the dishes. Oh, so I could do the dishes. Yeah, because yeah. I went to work. Did you work today? Mm -hmm. Mm, no, you didn't. I earned a vacation day. I've earned a vacation day and yet I still have to go to work. Did you play safely always? Ooh, baby, I'm 100% nice. Okay, it's more. Your turn. You're the gift. Of course I'm the gift. Why? Because you're the gift to the world. I'm always present. <laughs> no, you're Get not. It? Get it? You're an idiot. I'm always present. Did you make someone feel better today? Definitely not. I did. I made myself feel better. That's not, that's <laughs> not an option. That's a not yeah, no. Yes. No, you didn't. Did you're. You feel good today by saying goodbye to her. That's not that. So... What? You're a cheater, is what you are. Okay, keep going. Have you said please today? Not a chance. Yes. To who? To your mother. So when? This morning. To what? Please. Please what? Get me a coffee. That is a lie. You're such a liar. Why is everything I say Have like you done a nice a thing for your family? Yes. What? This house. <laughs> That's half you mom. You are living under the roof. Bullshit. You're such a cheater. Are you honest and tell the truth? No, oh. because you've been lying this whole time. You've been That's doing this. true. You make up stuff. <laughs> you've been lying this whole time. You play outside this week. No, you yeah, did not. That's not playing outside. It's playing. It's not a game. You're a liar. It is a game. Press Please. zero. Press Please. zero. Nope. Say no. You did not play outside. You are such a cheater. <laughs> it is now 9.15 and I need to go to bed, but I figured I would update you guys on what I did tonight because um, I did not talk to you at all because I was watching movies with my dad. Since my mom's in Collingwood, we decided that we were going to watch all the scary movies that we can't watch when she's home because she's a big scaredy cat so we always watch scary movies when she's not actually here so tonight we watched a movie with bella thorne it was called uh, i still see you it's on netflix it's a, like a ghost movie but it was pretty good for what it was i was able to call most of it so i mean that kind of sucked but it was still fun while it lasted now i need to go to bed because i need to get up at 6 a.m tomorrow to go to work again but then at least i have saturday off so i can sleep in because i am just exhausted at this point thank you for joining me for vlogmas day nine i will see you in vlogmas day 10. <laughs>